All right, here with FIBA head basketball coach James Daniel. His fans move the three zero overall in the season as they win it tonight, sixty to eighty three. On the one side, coach. Early season game, quite the intensity and uh, you know excitement we're used to with FIBA basketball. But your guys gunned through it through some sluggish moments. I thought the difference was your rebounding tonight, thirty eight twenty two in the class in favor of your team. Well, you know, I thought that uh, we did well. On the court. I thought we played through a lot of mistakes. But hey, give credit to Woodside. Woodside forced our hand a lot. They forced us on a lot of turnovers. I mean, they was pressure, they kept pressuring us. Our pressure defense was fouling a lot. I mean, I got to give Woodside coach uh, Stephon a, a, a tremendous job tonight. But yeah, we, I thought we did good on the boards. I mean, most nights I think we're going to win that battle, but you know, we just got to continue improving on what we do. You know, and the thing too is, uh, you lose a player the caliber of Antoine Miles, how do you replace him with that coach now at Virginia State? But you have two all league, all state caliber players in Kyrie Temple and a big body to come on leash tonight. 19 9 for Temple and a play at 14 rebounds for Leach. We see them have 20 rebounds. Uh oh, you know, absolutely. You know, I told them. We got our plan in the second half is let's go inside the Kyrie, let's go inside the big body, let them go to work a little bit. Even if we got to force a little bit, let them kind of like dictate how, how this outcome of the game will be. Because we, we just went shooting there for you. You know, you lose one of the state's most prolific guards in Antoine. You might be deeper this year. Your second unit played it, I thought, as well as your first year. Well, you know, it's, it's surprising. We're still missing like three guys. Okay. Football guys? No, basketball guys just hurt. I know we are deep, and I know as we go on the season, we don't have to rely on one guy to have a great game. If a guy's not having a good game, we just say, hey, next man up, and let's get ready to do what we have to do. But overall, I think, you know, we do 10, 11, 12 deep. What's the hunger level of this team knowing that last year you were like a play away from maybe being John Marshall voice that truck? You know, I don't think the hunger is quite there yet, but I do feel as though this team is close, closer knit. I think at the end of the day, uh, they're going to fight through tougher times more so than, and, and, and not only fight through, look for each other a little bit more than we did in the past to say, hey, Antoine, we need two, three buckets, you know, but uh, I don't think they're quite hungry yet. They haven't seen the taste. So we go up to Richmond this weekend. That's going to give us a good feel at uh, off Aston on Saturday. We have, uh, would ask that. Uh, I'll tell you, Bill, off the camera. Yeah. No problem. Two more for you. You know, the sign of a championship team is when you have players that can step up and sacrifice minutes or numbers for tonight. You come off the bench and start with 12 points and some big three scores. Well, you know, that was my emphasis in our post game. I said mentally, TJ is there. He understands being productive. He came in and did what he did. Without him coming off the bench and being productive, we don't win tonight. Yeah. Um, give me a thought on this peninsula district. I know you're looking big picture class three where you guys shake it with the likes of John Marshall, more sides by those teams in Oregon. But uh, the BD hoops this year, there's a lot of good young talent we saw. Woodside has, certainly Hampton, Benchville on the rise. I mean, it's going to be a war every night, right? Oh, it is, it is. And we're looking forward to it. You know, we like the good grind. And actually, the boys are looking forward to coming on the road. Because when you're on the road, you're out of your comfort zone. And this was our first road game, and I thought they responded well. But Woodside, Benchville, you know, in Hampton is Hampton, and I just feel as though it's going to be a tight race going down to it. I don't know too much about the other teams, and don't don't forget Kick and Tang. Yeah, Kick and Tang. Yeah. Well, I think your team, even this applies to football. So you guys want to be the team going on the road. You're going to be in the hunt with the target on your back, right? Always. You know, I was telling the boys earlier. I said, no matter what, when we go on the road, it's like everybody against us. You know, just beat the Phantoms, and everybody else is happy. So you know, we 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 cherish that. We understand what we're up against, and we just continue fighting hard. Let's keep on rolling. 3-0, they win tonight at one side. Thanks so much for the season. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.